Welcome to another Moroccan cooking episode with more Acro, where I bring you a recipe from Adada from cooking with Alia. Today we're making Moroccan briwat with cheese. Today we're going to be eating jebli. Oh no. Literally, eh? We're going to mix jebli with some cheese, oh, some garlic, some green onion, and some parsley. The recipe originally called for a quarter of an onion, so I got this baby onion. I think these spring uh, chivey onions are gonna be pretty good. So I just put a little bit of cheese in there to make it melty and to get about 200 grams of cheese between the jeopardy and our cheese. This is really easy recipe compared to a lot of the things I've been seeing in Morocco using a bunch of different spices. This one is quite simple. It called for a tablespoon of parsley I'm not gonna overdo it on the herbs today. Crushed garlic, and then the quarter of the onion. So we're gonna mix it all in there. Give it a spin. Now Moroccan briwat are similar to like egg rolls or spring rolls in Asian cuisine. There's many kind of briwat with chicken, with fish, with beef even and their sweet briwat. So this is just one example. And in the briwat world, they take many forms. They could be a cigar, rolled like a tube, a triangle, and also bastilla, which is the round shape. But it's not the big bastilla dish that we've seen on this channel. So this is nice and mixed now. And we're going on to what I think is gonna be the fun part of the recipe. And that's the rolling of our briwat. Now I have a lot of experience rolling I used to work at a taco shop called Macho Taco and we would roll burritos and it seems quite similar to this. I think my main challenge is going to be finding the right amount of cheese in there. Is that too little or too much? I think that's just right. It looks like quite a bit though. We got to loosen this off of here first, I guess. Oh no, it went rolling. I thought it'd be more stuck than that. Get back over there. Okay, okay. Let's see how I do here. I think we go over, over, over. But this is gonna be not so cigar -y. This is gonna be like a flat. Hold on, hold on. I got cocky with this. Let's see, oh boy. And then these come in like this. And then we go, rolling it up. And then we wanna use some egg yolk. This is the secret. I've tried cooking these before and it was a disaster, but now I feel like I'm doing good because I got the egg yolk secret going. It's the glue that holds the briwat together. And then I'm just gonna roll it on itself. And we have our first attempted briwat. Hopefully I get better at this as the process goes on. Try this again, round two. doesn't work as well as I saw it in the video. Okay. Oh, I forgot to take it off the plastic again. With practice, we get better and better. Even Andrea's filming skills and angles for the Briwat. Each time I rolled a Briwat, I felt I was becoming more and more Moroccan with each roll. They don't quite look like cigars. They look more like burritos, but I can work on my technique still. In Morocco, the food has to be beautiful and kind of uniform. This wouldn't make the grade at any restaurant. Now challenge time. We're gonna go for the triangle roll. So here we make it into a rectangle, Cheese on top and we fold left to right this one looks better right i'm impressed with my triangle technique good job kevin and with each repetition andrea got more creative with the camera angles bringing you the best brie rot wrapping experience ta-da 
I got these in the local shop, 19 dirham, for 10 papers, and they're made here in Agadir. Crepes de Sud. They look like a nice tortilla package, but you can make them at home. That's another story, not for today. Ta-da! Clean stove. Magic. Yeah, who cleaned it? Uh, the, the magician. Yeah. The best, the best cleaned it, Andrea. That's who cleaned it. Thank you, Andrea. And I said earlier that there's lots of kinds of brie rots. Drop in the comments what your favorite variation is. A lot of times they have uh, noodles, fish, or beef. I think that's enough oil, eh? Yeah. Or more. No. We took 200 grams of cheese, made six brie watts, so that's like 33 grams of cheese in each brie watt. That's a punch, you know, an ounce of cheese rolled up in each filo dough, coated with egg yolk and seasoned with parsley, spring onions, and garlic. Mmm. I know a lot of times we show some healthy foods on here. Today I would not put it in the healthy category. We're frying it and it's just full of cheese, a little bit of herbs and garlic. But it's good if you've been fasting, you need some calories. These are calorie bombs right here. Fat, flavor, protein, and fried crunchy goodness. Cigar or triangle first? Triangle. This part first? Yeah. Maybe not quite hot enough yet. There are some bubbles. And we're gonna do one cigar in there too. So exciting, I love frying things. I think it's the American in me. I just, after we fry things, the house smells so good. Frying and cheese, very American. Uh oh, it's bubbling off a little bit there. I think we should have done the other side now. Are you excited to eat these? Yes, so excited. I wish we would have some french fries with it or something similar. So I was looking up different kind of egg roll recipes from America and there were cheesecake egg rolls, buffalo chicken egg rolls, Philly cheesesteak egg rolls, southwestern egg rolls. So you could really put whatever you fancy in these, I guess. But the Moroccan tradition would be noodles when I've had it and some sort of meat. But that's for another day. This one exploded. Not yet. By the time the second batch came around, the oil was much more hot and we had a lot more bubbles. Frying things is so exciting. Mm. Mm. I like the color. So they're not too oily or soggy, you could dab gently with the paper towel. Do people in Slovenia ever put paper towels on top of their pizza to soak up the grease? No. It's an American thing? Mm, I would say so. Maybe some people do, but it's not really a thing. Diet pizza. In Morocco, they put extra oil on pizza. They put olive oil on the top of your pizza. That's different than like grease from cheese. Grease from cheese is like artery clogging. Olive oil, I believe, is more healthy. Yeah, but too much oil is too much oil, no matter. What? But oil is energy as well, you know, you get those fat calories, so some people got real high metabolism, they gotta get that fat. Or you're on a budget, you know, you can add calories to your pizza by just putting oil on it. So more energy to go surfing. My cigar is exploding again, this is not cool. I'm gonna stick with my triangle wraps next time. Take it out. No? That's okay. So we'll need a little fry on the bottom. I'm gonna get the table ready. Get the table ready. Jabli knows exactly when to come. He's gonna lick a little Jabli. Kevin said ladies first, but I think he's more hungry. I'm so excited to eat this. It smells like crab rangoon. Have you ever had crab rangoon? Mm -mm. Mm, it sounds crunchy. Mm. <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. Is it everything you ever dreamed of? It's really good. Um, it's missing what? Oh, salt and pepper. I didn't put any salt and pepper in. <laughs> <laughs> like it's missing something. Salt and pepper. Let me see the inside. Oh, that's silly. 
It's still good, but it needs salt and pepper, right? Yeah, we can add it later. I think cheese is quite salty. Jebli is salty. And pepper is just preference. Mm. Quite nice. I like the cheese very well. Wow. Mm. Really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me put some pants on. This is how Jabli got the name. We found him with his hat in the Jabli. Whoa! Looks really nice, like the one that you would get to the souk. Mm, it's lovely. I don't miss salt and pepper. No, you like it? Mm -hmm. It's creamy and crunchy. Mm. Mm. Fresh because of the fresh herbs. It's nice, huh? Yeah, I quite like the balance. Okay. Um, as I said, cheese is already salty, so... What's your favorite brie watt before this? Mm. The one that we had at... Daral Hussun. It's cheese like this, right? Uh, yeah, they were like cheese and fish. Mm. And they were like a bit smaller. Mm. But look at all these layers of how it's called this dough. Warka. Warka layers. Yeah, it's really nice snack. And that's what it is a snack because we're gonna have um, the main meal somewhere else. We're gonna show you tomorrow. Now the cigar, this feels heavier than the triangle already. I might have overstuffed these, hence the explosion. Mm. Mm. I like it. Yeah, it's a really good snack, maybe a party snack or a starter, and it's really not that much work. But the triangle one would be better this is really thick you know yeah it looks like the balance uh, between dough and the filling is better with triangles if this was a uh, fish or meat with noodles that would be better but it's just straight cheese no it's just cheese yeah a bit much mm. it's so tasty so tasty mm. and i like the golden color it's really nice mm -hmm. So cheesy, you don't need an extra dip. I'm gonna have one. Yeah, you can tell there is like more filling in this one. Cheesy. Very cheesy, but I like jabli, I like pearly. Sometimes I can eat pearly just with a spoon. So that's my kind of snack, my kind of dish. Mm -hmm. Probably I, will, I would choose this over some Meaty, meaty brewat. And this is what happens, it's exploding on both the back, sides. On both sides, so wow. yeah, a lot of filling. A little less on those next time. Skinnier cigars. Mm -hmm. This is like burritos. It's Jimmy mm -hmm. Clement here. Hi. Our local French cuisine expert. <laughs> this is not French cuisine, but have you had brewat before? What? Sorry? Brewat. Do you what it's called like this? Mm -hmm. No, I think I don't think so. Okay, well, give it a go. Let's try. What's inside? Mystery. Cheese, parsley, onion, mm. garlic. That's it. <laughs> I forgot salt and pepper. Really nice. Really smooth. A lot of cream. Or you can eat. Like, I think with two, you're good already. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's heavy, yeah. I think. No? Yeah, you can tell after the first bite. Two and you're good. That's what we both had. And even if it's hot, it feels fresh. Mm -hmm. With the uh, persil mm -hmm. inside. Very creamy. That's good. You cooked it. Mm -hmm. You're a really good cooker. Yes. yes. French approval. Uh, Slovenian approval. This one, if you dare. Uh, I hate before, but <laughs> okay. I'll split it with you if you want. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. And that's a roll or that's a wrap on our Brie Watt experience with cheese. I would definitely add a little salt and pepper next time. Work more with the triangles or put less filling in the cigars. Drop your favorite Brie Watt recipe in the comments or your flavor. 
and I hope you enjoyed this cooking exploration during Ramadan in Morocco in the year 2021. If you made to this point, definitely subscribe. More videos are coming. Share it with your friends and uh, constructive criticism. We'll see you next time. Thank you.